I'm Carrie from Top of the Hill Fitness. This is a total body cardio alternative workout for people who might be bored of running or cycling. We'll tackle all parts of the body in a gentle, continuous workout with 40 different exercises lasting 45 seconds each, and we'll never repeat an exercise. We're going to start with squats. Okay, so this is just a basic squat, going down as low as you can, maintaining good posture. Trying to not to lean forward too much, more like sitting down in a chair. Weight in the heels and 20 seconds to go. Our next exercise is a leg raise to the side. We'll do that on the right side first for 45 seconds. Transitioning right into the leg raise on the right side. We're just going to flow into the next exercise after each 45 second interval to keep it moving. Lifting that right leg as high as you can to the side and working on your balance the whole way through. 10 seconds to go. Our next exercise will be the leg raise on the left side. And off we go with the left side. Not worrying too much about how long it takes you to get into the next exercise. We just want to keep things moving in this workout. Thinking about balance takes some concentration. Our next exercise will be wall push-ups. 10 seconds to go. Okay, find the wall and begin those push-ups. Lowering to a 90 degree angle on the elbow and maintaining a nice tight plank position. Keep up a moderate pace. We're aiming for a little bit of a heart rate elevation. 15 seconds to go. Next exercise is ski squats. Transitioning to the ski squat, legs are quite a bit closer together than in the traditional squat position. and keep moving. About 20 seconds to go. Our next exercise will be on the mat for a curl up. Down to the mat and legs raised to 90 degrees at the knee and off we go curling up pressing the lower back into the floor and keeping those elbows out at the side not bringing them forward and continuous gentle pace Twelve seconds to go. We're going to move to arm circles next. Okay, standing up. And big arm circles. Thinking about palms up 
And you can increase or decrease the size of the circle and keep up a march with your feet. About 15 seconds to go. And we're going to move into a side to side hop, sometimes called skater. Okay, side to side, as big as a hop as you can manage and keep up that nice pace. This is a little bit more of a vigorous interval. Great to insert some side to side action when we do so much of our activities forward and back. Our next exercise will be calf raises. And just raising up onto the toes, seeing if you can stick that for a second when you get up onto your tippy toes. Great exercise for the calf muscles. About 20 seconds to go. You can use a wall for balance if you need to here. We're going to move next into sumo squats. legs wide and toes pointed out and we're going to drop down into the middle as deep as you can go and keeping up that nice pace this is a great squat exercise for working the inner thigh in addition to the glute muscles 15 seconds to go we're going to move next into an inchworm. And to the back of the mat and reaching down out to a plank position and crawling back up to standing and repeat. Try to get to a full plank with your butt down, reaching forward. Okay, and up we're going to move into arm circles backwards. And as I'm watching myself do this, I see that I am insisting on doing those arm circles forwards. As long as you keep those arms moving here, it's all good. Do them backwards though. <laughs> to balance out the, the front ones we already did. 12 seconds to go. We're going to do a side to side jump next. Okay, a nice little jump side to side, getting that side to side action in again. This one will help to get your heart rate up a little more. It's a little more vigorous. Keep going with those jumps as quick as you can, side to side. 15 seconds to go. And we're 
we're going to take it down just a notch here, up to mountain pose, swan dive down, rolling up. So mountain pose, dive down, forward fold, rolling up. We're just doing that continuously for 25 more seconds. This will give you a nice stretch on your hamstrings in the middle of all this. And give you a nice chance to breathe. We're going to do walk, walking squats next. Okay, down into that squat position and taking little steps to the side, front and back if you want. And let's talk about that art on the wall behind me. It's an oil on canvas painting by Jen Mann. This painting is from the Cover Girl series, a collection of paintings Jen did in which she casts herself as different caricatures on the cover of glossy magazines. As a whole, the exhibition was an exploration of how we construct personas and identities in the digital age. We're gonna move into a straight leg donkey kick next. Okay, so just working on that balance. Again, the right leg is extending out to the back and coming to, to the front. I'll show you from the side. Yeah, out to the back. Slight bend in the leg as you come up to the front. Great exercise for the glute muscles. Maintaining nice posture and always working on that balance. And down to the mat. We're going to do swimmers next. Alternating arm and leg raising. Maintaining that quick little funny swimmer action. This exercise I found to be one of the harder ones in this series. 20 seconds to go. Keep up the pace. Great exercise for the back. We're going to stand up after this and do a ladder climb. Work the arms a bit more. And up we get. And we're going to be reaching up like we're climbing a ladder, alternating arms. Fastest ladder climb you've ever done. Pulling yourself up each rung. 20 seconds to go. We'll be back down on the mat for hip raises next. Keep up a nice little march in your feet for the ladder climb. And down on the mat. Weight in the heels, your heels close to your butt. Arms raised for an additional stability challenge and try to stick your hips and your glutes at the top of the raise. Give them a little squeeze before lowering back down. Ten seconds to go. We'll do a one leg partial squat next. We'll be squatting with the right leg first. And this one is admittedly a challenge for me. Great to keep working on it, working on the balance and trying to get down into a partial squat. Thinking about sitting back more than leaning forward and maintaining that balance.
going to move back into the standing donkey kick, left side. Okay, so standing on the right leg, the left leg is going back into the donkey kick. Keeping up that pace, we just want to keep moving through this whole workout. We are over halfway done those 40 exercises. Next one's a crossover jack. We'll pick up the pace a bit. Okay, and thinking about alternating the arm that's on top each time you come in and alternating the leg that's in front. Good mind exercise. For this one and keep up a nice vigorous pace here 20 seconds to go we'll move back down to the mat for the next one doing a clamshell on the right side All right, down we go. Lying on your left side, using your feet as a hinge. Legs bent, and we're going to be opening the right leg up to the top, maintaining that 90 degree angle in the knee. And you should feel this in your glutes, especially on the right side. We'll just transition over to the other side so that we can work the left glute and the clamshell again. So using those feet as a hinge, opening and closing the clamshell. Fifteen seconds to go. And we'll go back to that partial squat on the left side this time. Standing up, standing on the left leg and taking a moment to get your balance moving into that shallow squat. Thinking about sitting back rather than leaning forward and trying to think away all those wobbles. And continuously just keep it going. 12 seconds to go. Move into Pilates toe taps next. down on the mat, pressing that lower back into the floor, 90 degrees on the knee, and alternating tapping down with the toe on the mat. Trying to keep that angle maintained on the knee as you tap down and bring it back up. And really thinking about the engagement of your abs through pressing the lower back into the mat. We'll move into a fire hydrant on the right side next. On your hands and knees. I'll show you that a bit better. And the right leg is maintaining a nice 90 degree angle moving up to the side as high as you can bring it. Great exercise for the glutes. 
20 seconds to go. And we'll move next to do this on the other side. So fire hydrant on the left side next. And keep it going on the left side. This will start to feel like a significant challenge to the glutes, both sides by the end of this. Great job, keep it going. About 20 seconds to go. We'll move into a side plank with a dip on the right side next. And over to that side plank position on the right. And dipping that right hip down to the floor. And just keep it going continuously. You can make this harder by being in a full plank position, not on your elbow like I am. and we'll change sides for the next exercise. So side plank dip on the left side. Legs nicely stacked. Keeping a nice firm plank position and continuously working on the dips. 15 seconds to go. We'll do a squat with a kickback next. Just a regular squat and alternating the leg that kicks back each time. Thinking about your balance. Kind of like the donkey kick again, alternating legs. Nice squat, sitting back on your heels. Next one will be a slot, an alternating side lunge. Off to one side, lunge over the bent knee, and back to the middle. Alternating side to side, keep that pace going. Twenty seconds to go. And we'll move into a different and maybe fun kind of exercise next, the tippy toe walk. Nice little calf muscle challenge here. You'll probably get a bit of burn going in this one. First try them just toes pointing forward and then try moving on the tippy toes with your feet out. And then we'll point the toes inwards and try it again. Just keep walking way up on the toes and back to toes pointing forward. We'll move into a standing leg sweep next. So you're standing on your left leg. The right leg is sweeping 
around to the front, crossing over the midline, and all the way to the back. Thinking about balance. Try to get a nice sweep, sweeping arc of the right leg. Fifteen seconds to go. And we'll move into doing the same thing on the left side. Next. Okay, let's sweep that left leg in, around to the front, side, back. A nice sweeping arc and maintaining the balance on the right leg. Fifteen seconds to go. We'll move into a squat with a jump next. Whoa, balance. <laughs> Basic squat, come to the top, and a jump back into the squat. Jump as high as you can, just get a little more out of this. Fifteen seconds to go on those squats with a jump. I'm going to move into a heel walk next. At the back of your mat, your weight is in your heels, your forefoot is up. And first just try it with your toes pointing straight forward, then bringing your toes out to the side, and finally try it with those toes pointing inwards. This will give you a good burn in the shins, good exercise for preventing shin splints and working on those anterior muscles of the shins. All right, start up some jumping jacks. Just a basic jumping jack, a little more vigorous. Keep up a nice pace here. This is exercise number 38. We are really moving through this. Just two more to go after this. 10 seconds to go on the jumping jacks. Come on down to the mat. We're going to do a knee down push up. Nice push up, push up position. Arms to 90. Engaging your core and just keep continuously going on this. Second to last exercise. 15 seconds to go, continuous push-ups. Few more. And standing back up, let's do a wide squat, alternating heel raise, alternating calf raise side to side. So getting up onto your tiptoe and then putting the foot back down. Just 25 more seconds. This is our last exercise. Keep up the pace. Get something out of this one. Nicely done, 10 to go.
Great job. And we're done. That was a full 30 minutes of movement for you. Great job. See you next time at Top of the Hill. Remember to subscribe for weekly workouts and great art.